Hey! Jack to the Whiskey Vault Nice Hair. Yes, thank you. Yes, I'm Daniel. This is Rex, uh, who just finished shooting the fourth Mad Max movie. <laughs> Witness me! <laughs> actually, I missed the video because I was in a class. Yeah. Did Brushwood actually do your hair? Yeah. Was it awesome? Uh, so I the, always wanted Brushwood to do my hair. That We're, we're recording this on Friday. The episode... Yeah, comes out on Saturday. Oh, so okay. by the time you see this, it will have come out. We'll link it up here. Saturday's episode. This is the Brushwood special. Yeah, no, it looks just like it. As administered by the Brushwood. Ah, yeah, that's pretty nice. Yeah, it's, it's pretty party good. in the back too. I gotta tell you, I don't think you want to deprive people of the wonder that is the back of your head. <laughs> With bonus rat tail? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Different links, too. It's even better. <laughs> oh. Okay, so here's the whiskey we're drinking, because I need one right now. Mm -hmm. So um, this is actually from Mitch Weddle, one of the many Mitch things. Weddle, you magnificent bastard. Now, Mitch has been around the block a few times. Yeah. He, he is uh, He's a staple here. The Mitch with his little spindly Kentucky arms. When I'm pouring, it's not fair. Okay, so you should have seen him unloading those barrels. <laughs> it's like a T-Rex. <laughs> it's from Kentucky. You can't help it. Don't make fun of him. He can't help it. It's just people in Kentucky. <laughs> is, it, is it bad that we haven't had a drop to drink today? No, I'm totally stone sober. <laughs> Uh, okay, so this is, what okay. is this? What is this? So this is interesting. When I tell you, it's gonna freak you out. But before I tell you what it is, tell me what your first impression is. I don't like it on the nose. It has that funky raw leather note that I never really liked. Yeah, which makes you think, where would this probably come from? Young, sappy wood. Yeah, uh, but what, like, what kind of distillery? Where is it from? Well, a craft... America or Scotland no, or no, Ireland? No, this is American. Okay. And this is new oak, and they probably had poorly aged barrels. Because that seems to be the common denominator whenever we get this kind of note. It's it's new guys, very like legitimately small batch, even though they didn't mean anything, but they're all making small runs and they're still in the learning process. Nobody really intentionally goes after this note. <laughs> but I'm about to be proven wrong based yeah. on your face. Well, but here's the thing. This here's is not something that I ever want to have in a whiskey. No, no. Here's the thing, on though. The notes. On the notes. If you would blindly pour this for me, and when Mitch did blindly pour this for me, I said everything you just said. Okay. And then I was proven completely wrong because this is Woodford Reserve. It's a big brand. And they did a special release of malt whiskey, 100% malt whiskey, in right. the style of Scottish whiskey. They did two runs. One that was pure malt whiskey aged in new oak, okay. and which is more American straight malt, right. and or malt. And then one aged in used oak, Scottish style. This is the one aged in used oak. Shut your face. I am not joking. Shut your face. Yes. Hole. So, where is that, that coming means from? That means that- Where is that coming that from? That vegetal funk is more likely coming it's a funk, man. It is a funk. Is it's it more likely coming from the distillation run. So is would it be like originating from a certain kind of grain? I don't know. Well, it's all malt. So it, it's it got to be part of the malt. This is 100% malt. All right, well, all right. But I totally agree. It's just weird green sap funk note. Yeah, I'm looking for sweetness, fruitiness, uh, even... See, it's not oaky, woody barrel. And this is even six to eight years it's, old. It's the, the note that we've said many times on the channel. It's this like, is not young. Like a, like a new raw leather, not even a worn, nice, supple leather. No. But from a, from a tannery, they just pulled it off and it's got this funkiness. It's disappointing, isn't it? Yeah. It's, uh, so, uh, now Chris Morris signed this bottle, the master distiller <laughs> that Mitch gave us. <laughs> you know. Sorry about that, Chris. Sorry, Chris. Uh, <laughs> you make other good things. And yeah. And by the way, we're going to review another one that he did that's maybe the best Woodford Reserve I've ever tasted. Now, I would be extremely curious to see other people's thoughts on this because all the reviews I read spoke very highly of it. No. Yeah, I'm not joking. No. And even some of them said, yeah, there's this really green note in it, but it's really vibrant and, and fresh and... Uh, sorry, guys. Yeah. No. It's not... Nah. The taste is... No, there it is. Oh, it takes about two seconds and then it's back in the taste. The first flush 
It's gone. No, it's apple-y. Yeah, the first flush has kind of apple notes and butterscotch and a little citrus. And then, and then as you start to swallow it, a that... hard turn and it goes sour. The straight to that sour funk that's in the nose, it shows up in the aftertaste. Yeah, not our vibe. Weird! But, if you've had this, what... What are you getting? What do you like? Or what do you now, not Now, like? I'm gonna pour you a scotch that, if I remember correctly... In the comments. ...reminded me of this. So, were they, they, were they basically giving our same kinds of notes, or some kinds of flavors, but they said they liked that? They said, well, yeah. Some of them didn't acknowledge the funk at all. Some of them acknowledged the green note and spoke highly of it. So as a, you said special release, is yeah. this uh, Master's Collection? Is this something that has a, you know, a wide range of distribution? Is this something, there's like 12 bottles in the world? No, or no, no, no. There, there's there a lot of stuff. There, uh, there are 16,500 bottles of this. Mm. We have bottle 7,692. It is, so what's really weird is... Does I've the one go away for you or does it keep showing up every sip? No, I keep going, well, what's really weird is uh, I'm not acclimating to any bit of this and every time I go for a sip, the first few seconds, that's nice. And then it takes a hard turn into sour and almost a Me bitter. Me too. I'm looking, there was a cheap budget blended scotch I had the other day mm -hmm. that I went, holy crap, there's the funk! So it, it doesn't just come from America. I found it in a place. Oh, it was in it was in uh, like the high. Um, it might have been this one. This is way more butterscotchy, mm -hmm. and it's got a little bit of smoke. So I'm like my fifth sip now. But smell that. I'm starting to pull out a little. Cinnamon. Look at the butterscotch version. Yeah. See what I, I mean? Yeah, I actually prefer the butterscotch. Scotch oh yeah, version. me too. This is the vanilla version. Vanilla and green apple. Is there some smoke? You know what I just, oh, you know what I just smelled? A horse barn. <laughs> yeah. Is there smoke in this? This is a horse barn. It's got that hay, dusty hay mixed with mud, mixed with pellet feed. You ever have to feed, shovel in the pellet feed into horse no, I, troughs? No, I, uh, no. Yeah, it reminds me of. What is this you just poured? This is Iowa Sky blended budget. Or, yeah, uh, no, that's, that's more smoke than funk. There's there's tons of craft American bourbons oh, that get this note, and I feel bad because I don't remember any any of them. Uh, Copper Fox is one. Copper Fox. Uh, right. Yeah, I'll pour it for you. If Pull I out the Copper it. Fox. As you do that, I'll read some comments. Try not to be distracted by my very loud hair. That's uh, not gonna work. <laughs> Jared Ryan Bradley. If I wanted to send you guys a whiskey to review in the vault, how would I do it? Uh, I think it's in the, the, there's a link below in the description about how to send whiskeys to the vault. Yeah? There it is. Just a darker version. Uh, you just mail it to the address, so we'll put a link in the description. Uh, Don Millsaps, have you ever blended a bourbon and an Isla? Yeah. I'm a fan of two parts Elijah Craig, small yeah. batch, uh, one part Lefroy 10. Oh, I think, I think we have an interesting experiment that will help Ooh. us recover our palates. So Elijah Craig. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the Copper Fox tasting the same? I actually like the Copper Fox better, but it does have that bit of pump. You can have all my wood for... <coughs> okay, what was it? Two part to uh, one part? It's, yeah, two parts Elijah Craig small batch and then one part Lefroy 10. I wonder 10. if I have Elijah Craig Ooh, small batch. Man, that, that, smoke, I that smoke stays with you a long time from that thing you just poured me. Uh, we got the Brian Huston, and Brian says, I have a nerd kind of question, so if Pete... <laughs> is the slow natural decay of vegetation, and they've been using it for many years. Yes. One would assume they will eventually run out of peat. We've answered this. Uh, yeah, but it was ages ago. It was like three so, weeks ago. Answer. I can't imagine that it would replenish itself as fast as they use it. Uh, so they're being very, very efficient about how they're using Scottish peat. Um, and peat is actually in tons of different places around the world, but specifically if Scottish peat gives those notes that you like, you don't have to worry, because the way that they're using them um, Basically, it's not running out. It's not running out, and they have lifetimes worth of peat. If you hear noises, uh, it's happy hour outside, and people are happy. Yeah, what's up with that? In this hour. Um, so this this brushwood special. I tried to do it justice. If you wanted to see it in its full full glory. Uh, then that would be the Saturday episode. This is me sleeping two nights on this, and then just trying to tip it up just a little bit. Ah, that's still pretty strong. Well, yeah. That's still impressive. Yeah, and Brushwood, if he's watching this, he's gonna, he's gonna, uh, cringe pretty hard because this is not at all what he goes for. 
individual, the fact that you see any stray hairs. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. I sat in this damn chair for an hour. <laughs> While he got rid of all the stray hairs? While he just <laughs> really wow, that's took it very seriously. <laughs> now, what did you pour me? This is the two part Elijah to one part Lafroy. That's a healthy pour. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cameron I'm Miller. I'm splitting it. There you go. Cameron Miller, what is the true purpose of a decanter? How long can a whiskey last? To look a, pretty. Last in a decanter <laughs> versus its normal bottle, assuming both are well sealed. If you open it constantly, you've got a couple of weeks to a month. If you open it very rarely, you've got two to four months, depending on how well. If it doesn't seal well, you've got a week. <laughs> if it's sealed, it's a nice decanter, has a full seal on the crystal, it could be six months-ish if it's in a nice place. But the primary purpose of a decanter is simply to look pretty. It doesn't do anything for the whiskey yeah. in particular. It just looks nice and makes you feel some kind of classy. Uh, that is good. So this is one part Lefroy. And who, who suggested this? This is one part uh, Lefroy tin. This is Don Millsaps. Don Millsap, you. Millsaps. Uh, this You're tasty. This is uh, uh, ha, this is like one third Lefroy, mm -hmm. but it is dominated by the Lefroy. It is, but it finishes with that sweet corn mm -hmm. instead of an aftertaste of the oil and salt. By the way, for those that want to see the autograph, right there. Oh yeah. Okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's a good little welcome home. Good little welcome home. Yeah. Yeah. Good to be back. Yeah. I had a delightful time while you were gone. Yeah, my son Jackson said, uh, as we were driving here, mm. what did Rex do while you were gone? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, Jackson, he doesn't just like sit around hanging out with me. I, I he only, has like a real job. I only exist whenever yeah. you come into yeah. your room. Yeah, and he's, and like, like, he's like, why didn't he go with you to San Antonio? I'm like, Jackson, <laughs> we don't do everything together. We do too many things. Yeah, even today. my own son is confused as to hey, where's that guy the purpose that's of always, your existence. That's always here. <laughs> Minus whiskey and everything. <laughs> All right, well, here's to fighting, stealing, and drinking. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. If you steal, may you steal a lover's heart. And if you drink, May you drink with us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.